vehicle is put to a uh, uh, foot control. Uh, uh, foot control. So the when I plug the motor to power, and within 10 seconds I hold and press uh, the plus and minus button, uh, we hear the uh, two beeps. Uh, because instead of a long uh, beep, we, we hear uh, two quick beeps. So the receiver memory is full and uh, more numbers cannot be restored. So I move on to the second part here. I unplug the motor and replug the motor into power and then within 10 seconds I press and hold the plus and minus as well as the left and right. All four buttons on my uh, red uh, remote control simultaneously and then I heard a long beep which indicates uh, the receiver has erased all stored electronic ID numbers. Then I uh, uh, unplug the power uh, motor to the power and then I plug the power again and within 10 seconds I press and hold the plus and minus uh, simultaneously and I was able to hear a long high pitch beep. I think you've heard that now, you heard that too. So, uh, and now uh, receiver, the remote control is able to control the motor. Plus and minus. All right, here we go. So now, oops. I thought I heard beep, beep. but then uh, uh, let's uh, try to clear everything. Okay. If two quick beeps occur, receiver memory is full and more numbers cannot be stored. Program new numbers, receiver memory must be clear. Okay, plug the motor to power. Within 10 seconds, press hold plus minus as well as the left and right on the remote simultaneously. Okay, so we gotta gosh, disconnect this again. Okay. Connect this again. And press uh, all four buttons. Ah, there we go. So that clears the memory. You hear that long beep, right? Uh, listen for long beep indicating receiver. Erase all elect story electronic ID numbers. Now uh, plug the motor to power. Or uh, actually, yeah, plug the motor to power. Okay, and then within 10 seconds, Press the plus and minus. That's a long beat, but I want to hear. Yeah, there we go. Stop. Yeah. Turn. There we go. There we go. There we go. And then, uh, so this is, this is the direction. You know, this is the motor. And the uh, increase the speed. Whoa, that's really loud. Decrease the speed. You know, decrease the speed. You know, increase the speed. You know, off. On. Off. I'm pretty responsive. Let's see how far away I can control this. This is a, about a good 10, 15 feet away. Wow, still working. Let me uh, stand further away. Wow, still working. This is longer than my bow. I don't think my bow is this this big. See, it's still working. You know, I can pretty much see. It's pretty responsive. I can pretty much uh, this uh, this uh, trolling motor from uh, all the way from here, which is a good 20 feet away, and my bow is not even that long. See that? Control. Nice. 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 So, what I mean, what I'm going to do is also, you know, there's a clip. So I can hang it uh, when I'm hanging it uh, on this thing here. Motor guy, motor guy, motor guy, 
motor guy. It's a hand control, remote control. This part number is, uh, let's take a look again. 6054A31. And the battery type is CR2032. FCC ID is MVUDRC01. You know, it's a nice remote control, but a very expensive one too. Anyway, the top button is plus, the, bot my, uh, the bottom number is minus, then the um, left button is uh, go left, right button is to go right. So, pretty cool. Pretty cool. This is uh, gonna work. Man, this is nice. You know, so that holds a thousand dollars trolling motor wireless remote control. You know, so responsive. You know, see that? This is only hooking up to 12 volts. It's not even 24 volts yet. Anyway.